The developments out of Cleveland are providing hope to many Iowa families. According to the State Department of Health, more than 5,000 people were reported missing in Iowa in 2012 alone. CBS 2's Jason Hackett spoke with one local family who's still waiting for their daughter to come home. He joins us now live. Jason. Tiffany, this is the street, this is the area where Aaron Pospisil was last seen about 12 years ago, 15th Street and 2nd Avenue Southeast. Her family says she got into the car of somebody she knew and they drove off. Now the family says they have almost no doubt she'll be one day found. It's been 11 years, 11 months, and four days since Aaron Pospisil went missing. You're always waiting, you want closure, and uh, we just haven't gotten it. On that fateful summer day, Doug Minnie's granddaughter got in a friend's car, never to return. She leaned down, talked to them for a second, and then said, these people will give me a ride home. Years later, they're still waiting for her to pull up in the driveway. But the situation in Cleveland has reinvigorated the family. It brought hope back to us. It, it raised our level of hope again. Meanwhile, symbols of hope after almost a year still hug the poles and trees in Evansdale. We were going to rescue these girls. We were going to get them back home. Police Chief Kent Smock says hope is what kept the town going when Elizabeth Collins and Lyric Cook went missing last year. Now, sadly, situations like this often end up in tragedy. But the situation in Ohio shows you can never give up. There's always hope and until uh, until we know something different, we should never give up hope. And that starts with keeping the public aware and interested in these cases. The more we can keep it in the forefront, more we can keep people informed of it, um, keep the media's involved. Um, I think that's probably the best thing we can do. Until every missing person comes home. Where there's life, there's hope and uh, things do happen whether it's today, tomorrow, or 10 years from now. And have hope that, uh, that she is still out there, that she will be found. This is a picture of Erin. Take a good look. She was last seen in the area of 15th Street and 2nd Avenue, like I said. 15th Street and 2nd Avenue Southeast. We're showing you what she looked like, what authorities think that she looked like then and now. If you have any information, call 1-800-843-5678. For not covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Jason Hackett, CBS2 News.